and I have been asked to talk about forgiveness and I know that uh, a lot of you who are born in this part of the world have uh, so many reasons why you cannot manage to forgive so I always say you're not intelligent enough think so many reasons why you should forgive <laughs> that was this is number one you should think I find every reason to forgive because if I don't forgive, then I'm the one who's suffering. Mostly, uh, people who are now mentally disturbed, a lot of emotion, it is something to do with a very, very hard feeling from very close friends. So there's a two groups of full close friends. Either your parents, when you're very, very young, you uh, expect them to give you loving kindness and bring up you nicely. Instead of this, you get a lot of abuse, no loving kindness. So you, when you grow up, you have no confidence. You always blame whatever's wrong with you is due to them. If you are that type of people, you should, instead of going to psychiatrist and therapist, you should learn a meditation called loving and compassion, forgiveness. First think that my parents did, did, did not know any better than what I have received. They must have also suffered from their own uh, parents. And sometimes when you see yourself when you get into very emotional, you can't think properly, uh, very willingly and very easily, uh, language of abuse and also physical abuse start to come out without your choice. It's like your power, this sort of monster power has hold over you and taking over you and you do all sort of things wrong and then afterwards feeling so sorry and uh, feeling so miserable, so that is too late. And so you should learn to forgive them. And if you think this forgiveness hundred times a day, and pray, and if you are Buddhist, you can recite those December purification mantra, and gradually it will change into the dream. So in the dream you remember that you have forgiven your parents, and you feel very relieved, uh, you feel very freed, so the, that's the turning point of your life. So then, your life will uh, really then uh, sort of make progress from that day onwards. And then, all the emotion, all the negativities, all the hard feeling you have will definitely go away. So, I always say to uh, people who are listening to me in this program, if you have a parents. If you didn't get along well, it's time to make approach to them. Don't expect them to come to you, but you should make the first move to go to them. And uh, Because then, if they were to pass away, as you grow up, you feel so uh, bad, you didn't work it out, the differences, and then it's like you will sort of torment to yourself, so that's not necessary when they are alive, you should learn to forgive them. And once you manage genuinely forgiveness, you will be totally free from this uh, overwhelming emotion and anxiety. And the second type is from the relationship, yes, relationship. And so then there's a strong attachment to each other. And then uh, uh, there's so much expectation 
people think all the good things will come out from this such a strong relationship but this so-called uh, you cannot physically mentally able to keep up this strong so-called competent and pure relationship then gradually people start to see fault in each other uh, blaming each other then when even talking uh, the negativities the aggression start to come sometimes people don't know very well very much if one likes some other person very well then they can only know one way is to hold them is bring tremendous jealousy jealousy is a self-destructive it's like you know if uh, say uh, a bird come to you and then you feed the bird and they come to you regular basis and then you put a say bird in a cage the cage the bird all bird want is fly away from the cage so a relationship with the jealousy is never going to able to hold together or make it meaningful so if you really want to have a proper and a pure a relationship it's called based on full understanding loving forgiveness always meeting in the middle bending, compromising, and always thinking, I will benefit by you. If my partner is happy, I'm happy with that. If each partner cares that way, then there will be a very good relationship. So when sometimes strong relation breaks down, the person who have lost, then felt very, very hard. So I always sometimes put the example of your samsara castle is in the sand castle <laughs> and when the column is knocked down everything else fall apart and it's, if your whole existence of your life is in the relationship when things fall apart then you go into depression you go into negativities then you talk nothing but negativities you want nothing but revenge and then what happens is you lose job, you lose friends. Some people really manage go into horrible, horrible problem, which is unnecessary. If you only have a little wisdom, saying we, we were together, we were not mature enough to share our uh, happiness and take share our responsibility. So even for that, forgiveness is the only way you will be free. So whoever left you, you should be thinking, wish them well. They find the right partner and you wish that they will do well, then this sadness will go with that because you want no harm. You want uh, the other person you, who you cared so much now found, think found a better person. So why not wish them even better? So then you don't need to have this extra burden of sadness and pain and sometimes people with the children I see the most saddening thing is the two parents really destroy the children's life by mother want a child like mother so trying to do everything to influence the children to dislike father or father want to do the same thing in child uh, children doesn't know who they should have a loyalty or trust they don't want to hurt a mother, they don't want to hurt father, but they are asked to have a loyalty from both sides. That is in the name of revenge. One is destroying many innocent life. So I suggest you do none of this. And if there's a breakdown, you think who is better for the children. If the father is able to give a better, uh, uh, we call foundation and better sort of security let the fathers to have it or if mother is going to give this you let mother to have don't tear the child apart because then you're becoming very stupid and ignorant you're not thinking about well-being of your own children you're only thinking of your selfish ignorant stupidity how you want revenge how you want to uh, punish and uh, some people used to say 
I want my partner to suffer. That is such a saddening for human beings to say that, because once this partner was your very best and uh, most uh, liked person, now because you lost, all you want think is you want them to suffer is wrong way. So whichever way, if you learn to forgive, look the ends of children. Even your relationship with your ex-partner will be much better. Your children will have a, a less problem when you, they grow up. So everybody will be winner-winner. So by learning to forgive, it's not going to come easily. So that's why you need to meditate as often as possible and bring this awareness into wherever you are. So I think I have said enough of it and hope it's very useful.